there that's God supernaturally working um, as God does, and it, it's for it's for our good and for God's glory. Um, so since I've gone on the trip, I just feel like I'm less dependent on things or having to have things a certain way. Not always, of course. Sometimes we slip back into our <laughs> our old ways, our humanness. At least I do, but. Um, I know for me, Madame Ferdinand was a lady down there who um, not only was leader and teacher at the school, she also taught the children music. She also had her um, stethoscope and was uh, helping with the health checks checks for children and, and for adults as well. She does everything. She sent me and the rest of us a hat that she had knitted since the trip. I mean, so here she is down there with... A congregation, a family, two children, doing all this, sending us hats. I mean, I'm not worthy. I just, you know, I was just floored by that. So um, just that inspiration, you know, wow, what can she do? What can I do? How can I? Um, and I feel like, you know, in my own career struggles, you know, that she's also an inspiration. And that since I've gone on this trip, God has opened some doors and things are flowing more. So I think stepping off the curb is kind of like keeps the flow going. You're giving and then you're receiving as well. And God will always give you back more than what you give. Um, there's no question in that. So having said that, if you would like to help, we're going to start a project with old T-shirts and making those into uh, like little tote bags. And if I can do it, trust me, anyone can do it. Dave, I think, did one at General Assembly. They were doing these at General Assembly as well. So it's a way to make a little tote bag that we can uh, ask for a donation um, for La Foi with. So we're going to be getting that program going. So, um, you know, to be continued. So if you'd like to be involved, you know, please do so. Thank you. Yeah, while we were there, we did some painting and we helped lead them in Bible studies to help them do the same in their congregations. But beyond that, we saw the conditions they lived in, worked in, and worshipped in. The difference between the haves and have nots was dramatic, and La Fa Mission is definitely serving the have nots. However, as has been said, the thing I noticed most about them is that. Despite their living conditions, they are very positive. They worship enthusiastically. They love their God. And I think that's why they're positive. And when we left there, we were asking the question, what can we really do? Because we wanted to help them. And the answer is simple, money. Uh, one minister, Pastor Solo, lives in a two-room shanty behind his church housing five people. He needs something bigger, which would be better for his family, and would also allow them to expand the church to better serve the people. But that takes money, not just a one-time contribution. They need regular, ongoing source of income. Again, I find myself in a position where I can do that. Now, if this is a mission that you feel called to support, you know, there are several ways you can do this. Helping with the fundraising, making these bags that Laura mentioned is one. There might be other fundraisers. Uh, future mission trips or possibilities. And giving money is another way. We all make regular contributions to the church here, and, and I'm sure we all contribute to other charities. I know I have my list that I give to every year. And if I get and I call some other charities. If they aren't on my list, I say, no, thank you. And I'm sure we all do that as well because we can't give to everyone. And for those charities we do give to, a certain portion goes to overhead. We, they spend a lot of money asking us for money. And it's probably worth it from their perspective. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. However, this is a mission that we can contribute that goes directly with a minimum of, over, minimum of, of overhead. The only overhead I know about is someone in Bowling in Kentucky who helps handle the paperwork for contributions. Otherwise, contributions go directly to the mission. So I am currently in the process of determining what I can give on a regular basis to this mission. I'm not going to change what I'm giving here or anything. I am going to see what I can add to my giving. They send me information that I can either 
uh, the same information, and I can give either to the general support of the mission or earmark it for their nutrition program, which helps provide food for the children they serve. You've heard and seen what their mission is, and you know they have a definite need. If you find yourself in a position similar to mine where you may be able to find some additional income, additional money that you, I would encourage you to seriously considering, consider adding LAFWA to your regular giving. If you want to check it out, you can go to their website, which is really easy to remember, www.lafwa.org, L-A-F-W-A dot org. It's easy to use. Just select the general fund option or the nutrition option. Specify the amount and the frequency you want to give, be it monthly, weekly, or some other. Again, the website is www.lafwa.org. But however you choose to answer the call, know that the need is ongoing and the ongoing needs to be met. And we do thank you for all that you have given to us already and all the support you have already given to us. Thank you. We want to say thank you for your encouragement, your support, your resources, your prayers, but most of all, your love. This trip could not have happened without you. We carried you with us. You were there in our hearts and in our ministry. So we hope what you heard and saw today helped you feel connected to this wonderful opportunity of which you, our church family, was a vital part. God bless each of you. Thank you. Thank you.